my parents never got onto a computer until this past Christmas. We got them one with a camera so they could Skype and see their grandkids. That's what we wanted them to do. A couple days later, I get back down to Tennessee. My dad calls me up on the regular phone. He's like, Richard Dale, I'm about to fire off an email. Keep an eye out for it. <laughs> I'm like, I will. And just so you know, you don't have to call people right before you send them an email. <laughs> Might want to send me a smoke signal if you're going to text me later on. And give me a heads up. It's pretty windy out here today. So I log on to my email. There's an email in there. It's not directly from my dad. It's asking me if I would like to follow him on Twitter. <laughs> my dad ought not be on Twitter. That's all I'm saying. But I couldn't believe he figured it out. So I log on to his Twitter page to see if he put out a tweet yet. He's only had the computer for two days. How many tweets do you think a normal person would put out in two days? Maybe two. Maybe a tweet a day. He had compiled 116 tweets <laughs> in 48 hours with no followers. <laughs> that is an optimist right there. So my dad doesn't talk a lot. I thought this might be his way of communicating, not just with me, but with everybody. So I start scrolling through his 116 pearls of wisdom to see what I can glean. I get about 10 deep into it, I realize it's not even 116 different thoughts. It's one story broken into 116 paces. <laughs> All capital letters. <laughs> so I keep going through it and I realize the whole story was about birds because my dad thought Twitter was a bird watching updating website. <laughs> That's my gene pool. I'm lucky I'm walking upright, people. <laughs> if you want to follow my dad, it's at woodpecker61253147. That is his social security number. <laughs> He's figured it out. <laughs> oh, I love my parents. <laughs>